brothers and sisters, put your hands together for pocket. Peace. Here we go. Another day from the deaths of Apocalypse. Dogs to God's entertainment. With a quick word of reflection. Come on in, have a seat, and let's get some uh, inspiration and some motivation for the day. It's Sunday, January 9th, 2022. Man, picture that. But look, my thoughts this morning were along the lines of the mission of the final call. I was on my way to the foodie spot yesterday and I saw a brother from a distance. You know, from the distance I couldn't tell who it was. Man, who this brother right here? So I was hoping that the light would catch me. The light caught me. And, you know, reached in my pocket and gave the brother a donation. You know, and that's really what I want to say to all who would hear this man if you see an FOI out pushing the final call man bless that brother with something you know of course those of you who know me you know I spent a whole lot of time out there pounding the pavement with the final call. And I have to say that some of the most brilliant ideas for my life and where we're headed came to me while pushing the program. And I promise you to be out on a daily consistent basis having to deal with the people where we are in our ups and downs. And I'm saying our, because we go out, you know, with the world, our world, whatever is happening with us on our shoulders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so the ups and downs of life itself they're no different <laughs> when you're out pushing the program now something that brother Milton D Muhammad used to say to me a lot rest his soul well everything that he's ever said to me that I can recall it really causes me to to really dig deep into my own thinking so that understanding could come a lot of what Brother Milton shared with me are unfolding more today than they ever did when he was here among us. And it's been almost 15 years. In May, it'll be 15 years since he made his transition. But he would always, or he would express to me one thing. He said, Brother, the final call is not the number one program. Now, if somebody say something like that, you got to really pay attention. <laughs> he said, it's the person's hand. You put it in, brother. They are the number one program, you know? So he was making the point that the final call is the number one tool to get us to the number one interest of our mission, which is the people, you know? Now, if you stop there at what he says and then look at just look at it on the surface and your mind will start tripping but if you go deeper into what's being said then it brings about more understanding and another thing he used to say is you know brother prior to 75 
we were in the community and the dope boys uh, were on the corner. Now we are on the corner and the dope boys are in the community. Brother, we don't know what to know about what we know. <laughs> and so these things over time would just really, you know, start to germinate inside of me, you know, and of course, when you're out there, you have a mission. Not only do you have a mission to actually get the final call in the person's hands for an exchange, you know, that's one thing. And then uh, that's, that's important, but it's not as important as getting the information to the people. And so what my thoughts and energy was f most of the time is if I have product that could help me with my responsibility then it didn't matter to me whether or not I received money for the paper because the paper has to get to the people regardless and guess what so do I have to take care of my responsibility regardless. So basically, this is just to give you an some kind of understanding of the pressure that's on the brother that's out there pushing. The mission is our sole purpose, you know, is to get our people over to the Lamb of God. You know, at the same time, if we are fixing our mind to make this a way of life, a way of living, then, of course, I have responsibilities as well. And see, it's a thin line. It's a thin line, very thin line between the love of the mission <laughs> and the reality of my responsibilities. So we have to know how to bring that all together so that the love of self the love of my people the love of the mission and the ability to provide for myself can all be housed in <laughs> my purpose on a daily consistent basis so when you see that brother out there man it, even if you don't have anything to give them monetarily man, give them a word of encouragement Give them some good energy because I promise you it's not easy, especially when you have determined that this is going to be your way of life. This is how you're going to feed yourself, feed your family. This is how you're going to provide for yourself. So, you know, support that brother out there, you know, for the, with the final call. That's our word for today on the Death of Apocalypse. You're in Chicago. We had the food spot today from noon to six. Come on through 7350 South Stony Island Avenue and show us more. <laughs>